Our Twisted Kitchen! Hello, welcome. Welcome to episode 15 of Our Twisted Kitchen. We are your hosts, LJ. And Jay. What are we drinking tonight? We are going to be drinking... Sipping on wine. Sipping, 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 sipping. <laughs> so we're drinking California Roots Moscato. Um, they do have quite a few things. They have Moscato, they have Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir. Rosé. Whatever kind of wine you want, I'm sure they have it. We decided we go a little bit classier today because a lot of liquor is a lot. It's nice to get to take it easy every now and then. But liquor gets the job done quicker. Get that puppy open. Oh, careful. So, if you didn't know, this is how you use a wine opener. Shut up. I didn't know. It's so easy. Yeah, now that we know. Got it? There you go. Look at that. Wow. No noise or nothing. We do have these sparkling ice waters again. Which one is that one? This one is the cherry limeade. So we've mixed the cherry limeade in with our wine and it tastes like candy. I'm going to mix the black raspberry in with mine. I don't know if we've featured this drink on here before, but ooh, thanks, babe. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, the black raspberry is very good, and I'm going to mix this in with my wine and see how it is. Let's watch it change. Ombre. Ooh. That is cute. Love potion, baby. Birthday. There you go. That's a good Valentine's Day drink, eh? Ooh, wow, that's good. We love love. We're in love with being in love. Bleh, bleh. Since we have accumulated so much alcohol from doing these videos over the last three months, heck yeah, we decided that it would be a good idea to get rid of some of it. So we're going to get the party started by taking a shot of Dragonberry. Fun game for you. Go back to our videos and let me know which video we drank this in because I don't remember. We're going to take a shot of this to get the party started. Let's do this. It is tradition to take a shot for each episode. So this is episode 15. Episode 15. Freaking teen. Anyways, tears to episode 15. I felt that in my soul. Oh, that's just... <laughs> oh that was awful. Oh. Ooh. What are we having? Okay, so we have these amazing uh, Banza no. spaghetti. No. Anyways, we decided to switch things up today and make a, an Asian dish. We're Wait. going to make stir fry with these spaghetti chickpea noodles. Uh, Banza! Banzai! Banzai! Banza! They are made of chickpeas. They have 25 grams of protein. So if anyone asks you where you get your protein from these, um, and then 13 grams of fiber. So you're going to go to the bathroom after you eat this dinner. So be prepared. Fiber. Protein. Banza. So with our stir fry, we are going, we're going to throw in some chicken strips. So we'll probably cut them in half, right babe? Yes. Right and we're going to saute them with stir fry, stir -fry sauce. sauce. Wow. What do and you know? once the noodles are fully boiled and cooked, we'll mix it all together. Mix and then it. we also have. Mix it. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can mix it. The best part of all of this is that we have mini corns, first of all. Mini corns! That's my favorite part. But we have an Asian medley vegetable mix here. And I've been forgotten, I Joe. I've been married a long time ago. I love mini, mini corns. Yes, I do. I love them corns. <laughs> broccoli, <laughs> broccoli, carrots, baby cob corn. And baby cob corn! That is what we were having tonight. So far, we started boiling the water for the noodles because those have to go on first. So I'm going to go toss these chickpea noodles in and then set the timer. We have uh, put these on and started cooking them. Our noodles right now, we're straining them as you can see. We know how they are because we haven't taste tested them yet, so they might be horrible. Ooh, yes! Those are so good. So 
So our chicken has been cooking for a few minutes. It only has to be on for seven minutes, so it really doesn't take long to do any of this. So this could even qualify as a quick meal if you want it to. So from here, we have to put our veggies into the microwave. Oh yeah, this is a steamable, uh, oh, this is a steamable bag. It only takes, what, five, six minutes, something like that? Okay, so put it this side up on the in the microwave. Do not pierce or puncture the this package. Oh, wow. Microwave for four to six minutes. And we have about four or five minutes left on the timer for the chicken, so it's the perfect time to throw them in the microwave. I finished mine. You didn't oh. finish yours. What do you do? I'm slacking. That's what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to finally add some of this sauce. So we have about three minutes left on this chicken here. Two minutes now. Two minutes now. I added the stir fry sauce right here. And then what we did to keep the noodles warm is put it on low and then put like about a cup of water in there. Yeah, you don't um, want them to dry out. So you'll have to strain these again, but it'll be worth it because by the time the chicken's done, basically what we're going to do is we're going to strain these and then dump the noodles in there and add pretty much like the rest of the sauce. So we did cut up our chicken like we said and now LJ is straining the, restraining I should say the noodles and then our microwave just yelled at us because it said that the veggies, the veggies were done. Are done so we have to take that out and then we'll be able to plate everything right away and then we'll be able to eat our dinner all right hokey dokey artichoke so that is what we are having for dinner i hope you enjoyed watching us make it it was very quick to be honest with you like i said earlier this could be a quick meal so it took about 10 minutes really for everything to cook which really is not that long so you can't go wrong with that tune in to our next episode when we make something super convenient for the clock and for you thanks for joining us this week <laughs> <laughs> an hour to the kitchen <laughs>